the ternary triumphant. It's more than just Huawei's victory. In the arena of chip technology, Silicon Valley has gathered the world's top scientific minds, spent 80 years on the offensive, and invested over $100 billion in R&D to construct a seemingly unbreachable wall of binary chip technology. However, the recent announcement of real-world test data for Huawei's ternary chip dropped like a bombshell. Its processing efficiency is a remarkable 1.58 times higher than the most advanced binary chip currently available. Crucially, the precursor to this technology was a research project that the Soviet Union abandoned 70 years ago due to technical bottlenecks. When a failure becomes an industry disruptor, what kind of dark technological secret lies hidden within this cross-temporal technological showdown? From a foundational logic perspective, a binary chip is like a simple two-position switch. In a home, processing information using only two states. On one and off zero. A ternary chip is more like a smart three-position dimmer switch. Introducing an intermediate state, minus one, in addition to the two end states. Take traffic light control as an example. Binary requires three independent switches to control the red, yellow, and green colors separately, whereas ternary can achieve the same function with a single switch by toggling through three states. This multi-state characteristic allows ternary systems to carry more information per unit of time. When calculated using mathematical principles, its theoretical efficiency reaches log 2, 3, is almost equal to 1.58 times that of binary, while significantly reducing power consumption, making it the energy efficiency master of the chip world. Historically, the Soviet Union encountered a fatal bottleneck in ternary chip research, the instability of the three-state signal, which ultimately led to its abandonment. Today, the Huawei team has found a new path. By innovatively designing a special transistor structure, they have precisely matched the three states to voltage levels of 3.3V, 1.65V, and 0V, while strictly controlling the error margin to within 50 millivolts. The test data is astounding. In complex AI computational tasks, the ternary chip's operating speed is 47% faster than its Silicon Valley counterparts, and its operating temperature is 20 degrees Celsius lower. This not only breaks the technological shackles that have confounded the academic world for decades, but also redefines the ceiling of chip performance. This technological revolution is no accident. From the Soviet lab's defeat to the predicament of the Silicon Valley giants, and finally to Huawei's dimensional breakthrough, it is interwoven with advancements in materials science, circuit design innovation, and the wisdom of countless researchers. Next, let's peel back the layers of historical fog to explore the legendary story and underlying logic behind this technology. I, the pioneer's tragedy of the Soviet Union. Why did a 70-year-old truth lose to binary? In 1958, Moscow State University created the world's first ternary computer, the Seton, which used positive, negative, and zero voltages to correspond to the three states. It demonstrated an overwhelming advantage right away. It had 40% lower power consumption and a 30% lower failure rate than its contemporary U.S. binary computers. 150 of these machines ran stably in Soviet industrial control for over a decade. Yet, this technological pearl eventually tarnished. On one hand, Soviet bureaucracy, fearing disruption to the binary industry's budget, slashed R&D funding. On the other hand, the U.S.-led binary ecosystem achieved a monopoly, and the Soviet Union couldn't find supply chain support. Most critically, without nanoscale manufacturing processes, the three-state voltage was highly susceptible to interference, like trying to distinguish the brightness of three similar candles in a strong wind. Any slight movement would cause an error. Historical review, the Soviet exploration into ternary computing was a brave, even tragic, pioneering experiment. In the mid-20th century, as the West was fully committed to the binary system, Soviet scientists keenly recognized the inherent advantages of ternary logic in expression and information storage. Its unique minus one zero one counting system theoretically allowed the computer to reduce information redundancy by 33% in complex calculations, 
a feature that showed astonishing potential when processing fuzzy logic and early artificial intelligence models. However, this highly forward-looking technology ultimately failed to achieve large-scale application due to a double-bind. First, the semiconductor processes of the time could not support the high-precision current control and component integration required for ternary systems. Second, technological isolation behind the Iron Curtain prevented its integration into the global electronics industry thus lacking the continuous market feedback and technical collaboration necessary for iteration. This predicament is akin to Prometheus bound in Greek mythology. Soviet scientists glimpsed the spark of digital civilization but were constrained by the shackles of their era. Huawei's breakthrough in quantum computing and new type chips is essentially standing on the crest of a half-century of technological accumulation combining the theoretical advantage of ternary logic with modern materials science and a global collaboration network. 2. Silicon Valley's Path Dependency Trap 80 Years of Monopoly Profit Why Fear Ternary? After Intel launched the 4004 chip in 1971, Silicon Valley was deeply entrenched in the binary dead end. Data from 2023 shows that 99.9% .9 of global chips are binary. Giants like Intel and AMD invest over $50 billion annually in process optimization, yet they completely avoid ternary. It's not that they don't understand the advantage. IBM calculated as early as the 1980s that ternary could save 30% in storage. But a transition would mean overthrowing the entire ecosystem, from the C programming language to the Windows operating system, from EDA tools to foundry processes, everything would have to be rebuilt, conservatively estimated to cost $300 billion. Worse, the monopoly profits generated by binary are too lucrative. Intel's quarterly net profit once reached $8 billion, and no one is willing to disrupt their own success. Silicon Valley's predicament is a classic case of the success trap. Looking at the history of the semiconductor industry, since the invention of the transistor at Bell Labs in 1947, the binary system became the foundation of digital technology due to its simple circuit design and strong anti-interference capabilities. Leveraging this first-mover advantage, Silicon Valley giants built a vast industrial empire. TSMC alone had revenues of $75.8 billion in 2023, not to mention the ongoing profits of giants like Intel and Nvidia. Huawei, on the other hand, at the darkest moment of the U.S. supply cutoff, resolutely invested over $20 billion in R&D to explore chip stacking technology and photoquantum computing. Its Kunlun quantum chip, released in 2024, adopts a unique ternary architecture, boosting processing efficiency by 37% and reducing energy consumption by 42% compared to traditional binary chips. This breakthrough is a stark validation of history's cyclical nature. Soviet scientists first invented the ternary computer in the 1950s but failed due to a lack of industrial support. Now, the technological monopolists in Silicon Valley are creating an opening for latecomers due to their arrogance and inertia. Technology history repeatedly proves that genuine technological revolutions often emerge from the cracks within the dominant system. 3. Huawei's Breaking the Barrier Code Using Soviet theory to smash Silicon Valley's copper wall Huawei's brilliance lies in its decision not to compete with Silicon Valley on binary process technology, but to retrieve the Soviet Union's balanced ternary theory and remedy its shortcomings with modern technology. Patents revealed in 2025 show that Huawei uses special transistor designs to suppress the three-state signal error to within 50 millivolts. This is 100 times more stable than the Soviet technology of the past akin to precisely distinguishing the brightness difference between three LED lights and a downpour. The entry strategy is even more ingenious. Instead of challenging binary in its home turf of computers and mobile phones, Huawei first targeted AI chips. When running the ResNet 50 model, the ternary chip's training time is 28% shorter, and it saves 42% in electricity costs. AI labs at Google and Microsoft have quietly purchased them for testing. Samsung has even followed suit, validating Huawei's technical solution in its foundries. More tellingly, Huawei's success demolishes the myth that technological innovation must rely on fundamental invention. 
by profoundly integrating the ternary logic theory proposed in the 1950s with 21st century new materials and processes. The Chinese company has proven that, in today's era of highly accumulated technology, the creative reorganization of cross-generational technological elements often generates a more powerful, disruptive force than R&D from scratch. As Silicon Valley companies watch in astonishment as the binary technology wall they spent 80 years building gradually fails under the dimensional impact of ternary logic, this shift in the technological paradigm not only reshapes the global semiconductor competitive landscape but also declares to the world, there is never only one path for technological innovation. And the latecomers who dare to break free from conventional thinking will ultimately forge their own boundless future. 4. A New Dawn for global technology, Ternary is more than just Huawei's victory. The rise of Ternary is a boon for the entire world. In the AI field, it can process fuzzy information like possible or likely when an autonomous vehicle encounters an ambiguous shadow on the roadside, binary either slams the brakes or ignores it, while Ternary will decelerate to observe. German automakers found that their misjudgment rate dropped by 60% during testing. In the field of carbon neutrality, if 10% of the world's data centers adopt ternary, it could save the carbon sequestration equivalent of 120 million trees annually. After a pilot program at Google's data center, a single cabinet saved 120,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Even better, ternary's intermediate state is naturally compatible with the quantum superposition state in quantum computing. Huawei's designed interface can increase quantum error correction efficiency by three times, leading quantum labs in Europe and the U.S. to seek collaboration.